so we go to a market on a Saturday. We are by the side of the road in Albury next to the Fishman on a Monday. Tuesday is next to the Fishman again, but over our way, so on the roads that head out, on the road that heads out towards the Alpine areas. And on Wednesday, we're right in the middle of Wodonga um, in that nature strip. Um, so what I'm going to do is just film for the week and give you an idea of what we're doing and then we'll talk business at the end of the video. So that plan I had to film our week worth of markets and stuff and sorry to sales has gone to poo because the Premier of our state decided to put us all into lockdown for seven days with four hours warning um, because we have six cases four hours from here. Morning, it's Sunday morning. So it's church today. I've got my hat on to protect my hair so it doesn't get all, get all wet. And we're working on this shed, which we wouldn't normally do on a Sunday. We take the day off on Sundays, but we didn't get it finished. Hola. So the deal is we just want something that is sturdy and will keep things dry. We don't mind if it looks very makeshift. Um, this is our old compost pile. We're slowly moving that elsewhere. We're pulling out that fence. So there'll just be like a fully covered area and then um, a roof with an open back and side. So it's looking good. We were hoping to get it finished last night, but I've usually got unrealistic goals. <laughs> We've just, so it's Monday morning, we found some deliveries, but we've also left some little posies. There's a table back there, one there, and there's two tables down there along the main street of Yak. And there's a person coming, is he gonna see it's Matt. He's looking, he's looking, he's looking. Who is it? Matt. Matt who? I'm a teacher. Do you want to tell him? No. <laughs> just wind the window down and say, Matt, we put them there, they're no. free. Told him and he got one. <laughs> Two actually. <laughs> Malia. Should we sit here and just watch what happens? Malia. Malia. What? Pe I've only just posted it up in the group so people Which won't one? know what's going on yet. But anyway. Okay. Two are gone. It's fun. We did it. We did it with a shop front with the pie shop last week. No, last Sunday. So people had to go into the pie shop to get their little posy. In the hopes that they might buy a pie too for them. Just trying to support the little local businesses. Pie. Now the girls want a pie. So here's the junky shed. Just all this timber and I've got it all lined up inside too. I just needed to get it somewhere. So Maro and I built this roof over the weekend. We'll put a timber rack across the back here, just move some stuff, get the lawnmowers out here, just random things that are in the way are coming out here. And a lot of the stuff from that studio that we need to get plastered is going to go out there for now. Um, and it's also going to free up space in this shed to put other things that need a bit more protection. So. That's that. Another thing I've been doing today, and I do on a Monday, is kind of organize orders. And I have anyone on a subscription, I have their payments come out on a Monday, so then I can line up the day that they're having deliveries done. So I've got that done. Um, we don't have that many subscriptions yet, but it's just slowly building. We're happy with what we've got for now. So that's nice. Um, what else for today? Oh, we're actually being interviewed for a podcast tonight. So it's seven o'clock. Um, Rebecca from Dish the Dirt 
if you listen to that podcast. She interviews um, flower farmers and florists and farm florists and, you know, the flower world. She interviews them on her podcast. And, yeah, so we're going to do that tonight. I don't know when that will air. And, yeah, I think that's it. I'm going to take the bins out because the garbage truck comes in the morning really early. We've got so much to do. But we've got locked down for another two weeks, so we're just going to pump it out. So, yeah, I might just leave it there. That's a rough idea of a Monday. And whether we're in lockdown or not, that's this is kind of our Monday. It's where we are aiming to not have sort of client contact on a Monday. I mean, cu customer contact. Hello. Um, but we are flat out at home, just prepping for the week, prepping orders, prepping buckets, um, the foliage, trying to catch up on odd jobs and a clean up from the weekend. I'm going to go now and plant the rest of these plants, get them out of, off my veranda. So I've got the week to kind of get organized and we'll film a little bit of us doing this interview later. But if you want to listen to it, I'll let you know when that's up on wherever you listen to podcasts and you can have a listen. Bye. Uh, we're, going to, we're going to sort of do it so we're not... On one part of the... Uh, one area, we solarize. Hello, it's Tuesday. Um, I got up really early and I had to go into the wholesaler and I've done the Tuesday, early Tuesday morning deliveries. And so now what I've got to do, I've come home, I've done more computer work and finalized orders and everything over there. And now I've been to the wholesaler, I've got the flowers, I've got to strip all the stems and put them in buckets. I've got to make up a couple more orders to go out today. And then I have to sit at the computer and do some more work. So kind of never ends. Moroni's out in the field. Um, I'll do this and we'll go out there and have a look. He might talk you through what he's got in each row at the moment. And yeah, okay, I'm going to get this done. My daughter just walked in and said, is that a 75? So I feel chuffed because it is. A family that wears Crocs together stays together. Okay. Hello, I'm back. So I've done those deliveries I've just finished. If they are there, what I have to do at the moment is um, say hello, put the bucket down and just say, um, I'll step back, pick up your flowers from the bucket and then I'll take the bucket 
because we have to be contactless at the moment and I've got to wear a mask and when I get back in the car I have to sanitize my hands so then you know if there is any virus around I'm not spreading it so hopefully all good everybody was happy today only one person wasn't home which was really good and so now I'm I've got to get some groceries and pick up a click and collect at Bunnings a hardware store go do that now head home and I'll clean up the flower shed get ready for tomorrow we've got to go tomorrow pick up another lot of flowers at the wholesaler I think it will be probably this in the second bed. And Shani's over there earning some pocket money. She's she plants out really, really well. She's so good at it. Okay. <laughs> I think we've found our friend that poos everywhere. A little wallaby. How cute. Let me show you. Whoa. Gotta get my gloves off. So it's the next day, I'm out in the flower shed. I, we got up at seven, Maroon and I go and went and picked some more foliage. I'm gonna make up today's orders and then Maroon and I will go and deliver them. Um, it's been really hard to film when we're delivering orders because we're just so kind of under the pump to try to get it done. And anyway, I'm making up these flowers. I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. We'll pack it in the car and we've, we've actually got our tax appointment. We have to do, do that on the phone because of the lockdown. And then Mara and I will head off and I'm going to stay home and finish editing the next video, which isn't this one. It's last week's. So we've got more of these disbud chrysanthemums. They're the dyed ones. And I know they're imported and everything. Everything's sort of, you know, not ideal. But they're so gorgeous. I love them. We've got some lisianthus. Um, well, we were supposed to be getting stocks, but to me they look like snapdragons. So we didn't get that. The chamomile. It smells so good. Status. Wax flower. I was trying to get some thryptamine, but they were out. Well, actually... I got one bunch it is the coolest stuff and the kale I've got um banksias still oh excuse me from the other day I'm going back to get some more um a lady gave us all of these um proteas and I don't know what this is but they didn't have the leucokendrum and this is the replacement which isn't really showing up at all in a bouquet so it's not great but just as an idea is about $350 worth of flowers so I've got the back packed with all the deliveries and what I do is I've got the delivery note in the front of the car it's got all the details and it's got a number on it that corresponds to the number on the bunch so then I come to the back of the car when I get to their house grab the bunch take the number off and I deliver it so that's how we kind of streamline things for our deliveries. I'll be back. If you plant poppies, you'll never get rid of them. Okay, so that might be it for Wednesday. Um, I still have to go out to the shed and just tidy it up ready for the morning. And then tomorrow morning I'll go into the wholesaler really early, and come back with the flowers and get them ready for the next... What did I say? Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday for the next five days. Okay, see you tomorrow. Is it 757? 20, 727. No, it's 727. What well, says 727 on? Oh. Okay, well, anyway, it's uh, Thursday morning. So we're, the girls are coming. They're homeschooling anyway. We'll be home by 9. Um, we've got to go to the wholesaler. So we might film a bit of it today. She's going in.
white. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. <clears throat> Hi, <sighs> Maroon and I are still out doing deliveries. He's been gone for like five hours, four hours. We've been to Beechworth and back and done the deliveries and I missed an order. I have to go back. Oh, I thought I was done for the day. But my feet hurt because now I'm getting old. And apparently that's what happens to old people. <coughs> It's not too cold. It's like 7.30 a.m. We did 28 deliveries yesterday. 28! How amazing! Oh, if only it could be like that every day. But I suspect the people are so depressed because we're in lockdown again. I'm out to the, going out to the flower shed now. And... I don't know how many orders we've got today, but I've got to get them ready. And I want to get them started early because I want to have free time this afternoon. I put mascara on today, so it looks like I've got eyelashes. Everyone's asleep inside. Should I wake them up? I don't need to. My door will. Oh. Hey, I'm back. So I've all set up. I've filled the buckets up. I've stripped the like stems to get them ready I've got my very makeshift workstation set up so I'm going to show you that um, and then I'm going to just pump through these orders I've already sort of done some and I thought probably I should film now so those who have been following along know that this is our future flower shed but it's in a shambles at the moment have a look at my order except they're all $35 bunches today, one posy jar, and that's for a cute little girl for her birthday. Yeah, so I'm just sort of making up 10 um, $35 bouquets, and then I'm just assigning them numbers at this point. There are a couple of people I know, and I know what they like, like one customer, she's a repeat customer, and she has a particular vase that she likes to put her flowers in, so I put hers together with her vase in mind, because I know what she how she's going to try to display that so this is her bunch so it's sort of pretty and dainty and it's got longest I know it doesn't look too long but it's got longer stems down in there but that's sort of like the perfect um thing for her vase whereas something like this or especially the one with the two heads it is not going to fit in her vase he's back hello that's a perfect amount but he's now having to climb the trees to get this foliage. But it's so pretty up there. Look how nice it is. It is. The wattle's about to pop. People love it though, don't they? Yeah. To me, it's a weed. 
It is. I think because we've just got it everywhere and it gives me really bad hay fever. Right, Are you going to strip these yeah. for me? Is James in bed still? Yes. Okay. Te amo. Love you. Looking for a posy jar. I bought four and I need it. <clears throat> My shed door has a glitch, like the Matrix. I thought I'd locked it again. But you don't lock it, it just locks. I need to get a locksmith out. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. Why do I lose an entire jar? But where would it be? Hey, my amor? Yeah. Did anybody buy that posy jar yeah. at the market? Did no. anybody buy... No. <gasps> Hi! You're awake! Want to look at the coop boy? Hi! <laughs> <laughs> the girls have been good babysitters for us, haven't they? Yes. Where do you reckon that posy jar is? Did you sell it? Did somebody buy it? Just one, like... like oh, week. you did? That's the one I'm looking for. Why didn't you tell me that? Oh, I told you the day that it gets old. Oh. But I asked you this morning where that jar is. What the hell is this? Oh, but I didn't sell it with the jar. What's this? I, I didn't say it with the jar. Oh, where's the jar? I need the jar. I don't know. This is where I'm up to. We've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and then 13, 14, and then my little run. <laughs> Same outfit again. Ah, <laughs> oh, geez. We're in the bush. We're gonna. I'm hoping there's some wattle. It hasn't quite started blooming around here yet, but I'm hoping to get some. We'll find probably some nice like sticks and stuff. We'll just see what we can gather. Um, we'll go up to the back of our place as well and grab a heap. Anyway, I've got an injured kid here, walking extremely slowly. Why have you got your handbag? Why don't you put it under the pram? You can't bend over. Oh, jeez. He's getting away. Okay, rolling, rolling, rolling. I fell down. Oh, that's because we're in risky rabbit. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching. You made it to the end, well done. <laughs> so <clears throat> as you can see, that's a, a week with our business and the flower farm. A little bit different to, I guess, normal because we're in a lockdown and we can't operate via the side of the road or at markets, but when we can do that again, I'll film another one so you can see what that week is like. I might even wait until summer kicks off a little bit so you can see what the farm is like when it's in full production. Thank you for being here. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed but you like what we're doing, consider subscribing. And hello to all the new people. Hopefully you got something out of this video and it encourages you to go and do the thing that you really want to do. And we'll see you next week. Bye.